Alright, I'm going to do a real quick tutorial of the iMovie app. So, I'm going to come here and I'm going to click on iMovie. It's going to come and it's going to come to a page like this. When you want to create a new project, you're going to hit this plus button right here. It's going to come up and say new project. You either can do a movie or a trailer. The trailer is what I've been using. They're about a minute to a minute and a half long. So you can see when I click on it, it's got a bunch of different styles that you can pick from. So it's entirely up to you, whatever works best. I use the retro style. So I'm going to actually go back and kind of use my outline to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to hit edit. It's going to come up to the outline. Here's where you can change your movie name. Kind of the things that's going to show up in your credits. So... This is something you can just look at and fill in. It's not super, super time consuming. Most of your time is going to be spent right here in the storyboard. So the storyboard is going to be where you're going to do your videos and the words that are going to highlight your film. So if you click on these words here, you can see that you can edit them and change them to whatever fits your basically event or whatever you're doing it for. So it comes when you click on the styles, it comes already filled in with words, but obviously those words aren't always going to work for you. So you can edit them and change them. And I like that if you see when you click on them, it shows you what it's going to look like in the actual movie, which is really nice for spacing and things like that. So you don't put too short of a word or too long of a word that people aren't going to be able to read. So I like that it shows like that. So once you fill all of your words and so they work for you all you have to go back in and do is do the little film so you're going to click on one of them i'm going to delete this one so you can see what it looks like so when it's deleted it looks like this so there's three things you can do now you can either add a video that you've already done that you've already recorded earlier you can add a photo or you can take live videos okay now the live videos is what i did today so you can see it's alive, and I just did it on the fly and just quickly took videos as I went around the gym. But just to kind of show you, I'm just going to take a video that I already did and add that one in. So it drops right into the space I want it to. And I like this too, that you can go back and you just edit whatever part of the video you want. So if you take a video that's too long, you can go back and adjust that clip so you just see the portion that you want. So... Once you pick whichever one you want, you click off of it, and once you fill up all the videos, you're done. That's it. It, it does all the rest of the work for you. Now, you can see it takes uh, probably between 12 and 15 videos, pictures, to fill it all up. So, it does take a little bit of time to take the videos and the pictures, but once you do that, you're done. It's all going to do it all the rest of the work for you. So, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hit done. Then, I, if I want to share it or present it, everything's at the bottom. So, the button looks like a play button. That's going to present your video. And if you want to share it, you're going to hit the button in the middle with the square with the arrow. So, if I hit that, you can save your video right there at the bottom. That's going to save it to your device. If you want to share it, whether it be Google Drive or YouTube or email, whatever you're going to use, that's all right there at the top. Now, I use Google Drive when I shared mine. That's just what I'm used to. I ha the guy that I watched do the tutorial the first time when I was learning, he did YouTube. And he said the quality of it was better on YouTube than your other options there. But I use Google Drive. It's just whatever you're comfortable with. It does take about a minute to a minute and a half to export it, whether you're saving it or sending it to Google Drive. So I wouldn't wait until the last second before you show your kids and then go to do that, or you're gonna you're gonna end up with some wasted time there because it does take a minute to a minute to a minute and a half, I would say, to export those and basically download it and send it away. So after that, you're done. So it's all done for me. I would hit play. It would show. So, that's pretty much it. I'm not a complete master of iMovie, but that's the basics of it. And, I mean, it's a great tool 
to advocate for yourself. It makes really high quality, great looking videos that didn't take you a whole lot of time, but it looks like it did. And this way you can send parents little videos of things you do and they can get a quick inside scoop of what you're doing in class and things like that. So I hope this helped. If you have questions, let me know. And if not, then good luck. And I hope you get to use it because I think it's a really neat tool.